In this video, we're going to take a look at the cube root formulas. We have two expressions, 8x to the third minus 27y to the third, and 192x to the sixth plus 81. We're going to focus on three tasks. The first thing we're going to do is look for the GCF, then we're going to use the formulas, and then finally we're going to use SOAP to place the signs, just to kind of remind us how to place those signs. So let's get started with the first one. So we have 8x cubed minus 27y cubed. And right now I'm looking for a GCF and I'm noticing that 8 and 27 don't have anything in common. So we can move straight to the formulas. So I'm going to take 8x cubed and the 27y cubed and I'm going to first pull my cube roots out. Those are the two pieces of information that I need. The cube roots. So the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of x to the third is x, 3 divided by 3 is 1. You would divide in order to find the exponent of a cube root. The um, cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of y to the third is y. Again, the exponent is 3 divided by 3 for cube root, and that would be y to the first power, or just y. So our two roots are 2x and 3y. Now we're going to focus on the square multiply square part. So what we're going to do with both of these roots is we're going to square them both. I'm going to take the 2x over to the left and square that. So 2 times 2 is 4 and x times x is x squared. Now I'm going to take the 3y over to the right and square that. 3 times 3 is 9 and y times y is y squared. And in the middle, I'm going to multiply these two roots together. 2x times 3y is 6xy. Now I'm going to take a look at what I've created. I have my two roots, and I have my square multiply square. And if you look at the formula, the first set of parentheses has two terms, and the second set of parentheses has three terms. So we are on track. Now we're going to use SOAP to place the signs. So look at the original expression and notice that that is a subtraction sign. We're going to use the same sign in the first expression with the two roots. The next sign we're going to place is at the beginning of the second expression. That's going to be the opposite sign. So same, opposite, and the last sign is always positive. So when you look at these side by side, we have 2x minus 3y, and then we also have that multiplied by 4x squared plus 6xy plus 9y squared. You can FOIL to check this, and I say FOIL kind of loosely because it's basically where you're multiplying everything together and adding, uh, combining your like terms, and when you do that, you will notice that it gives you back the original expression. Let's take a look at the second expression, 192x to the 6 plus 81. The first thing is going to be look for GCF, and 192 and 81 do have a common factor, and that factor is 3. With these, it's always nice to check 2, check 3, check 5. Um, this particular problem, the common factor was 3. So we're going to factor that out and make sure we hold on to it for our answer. So dividing by that 3 and putting a pair of parentheses around the original expression is going to give us 192 divided by 3, which is 64, x to the 6th, and 81 divided by 3, which is 27. So we have just, all we did right now was take out the GCF. The GCF is 3, and the new expression is now 64, x to the 6th, plus 27. Now we're going to use the formula. We need those cube roots. So we're going to start in on just the 64, x to the 6, and the 27. We're going to hold on to the GCF. The 3 is going to hang in there and wait for us. So the cube root of 64 is 4. The cube root of x to the 6, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so that would be x squared. And the cube root of 27 is 3. So our roots are 4, x squared, and 3. Now let's do the square multiply square part. Take the 4x squared and square that. So 4 times 4 is 16, and x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. 
3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And in the middle, we're going to multiply 4x squared times 3, which is 12x squared y. Now you have your two terms and your three terms, just like your formula. And now we're going to place the signs using soap. So the first sign is going to be positive because the original sign in the problem was positive, so that's the same. Opposite would be a minus and then always positive as your last sign. So side by side, these look like 3, which is your GCF, 4x squared plus 3, which those are your two roots, and then your square multiply square part is 16x to the fourth minus 12x squared y plus 9. Again, you can check these with FOIL or again, just multiplication. And you can, you'll see that when you put everything back together and multiply, you'll get the original expression. And I'm going to give you two more to practice with. So you can go ahead and pause the video and then come back and check your work. And here are your answers. The roots for the first expression are 3y and 4x. And when you do square, multiply square, you get 9y squared, 12xy, and 16x squared. And you see the resulting factors at the bottom with the same opposite and always positive signs. And for the 2y cubed minus 54, you do have to take out a GCF first with that one. So you factor a 2 out. That leaves you with y cubed minus 27. And then you can pull your roots, which are y and 3, and create your square multiply square, y squared, 3y, and 9. The resulting expression, again, don't forget your same, opposite, and always positive. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.